Hi everyone, this is a little demo of Miku installation. Um, notice that the installation is a private installation because I don't have root privileges to the system, so I'll actually show you how to do it um, inside your home directory on any system. Um, also notice that the server is using GCC 4.2. If you're using GCC 4.3 and above, you're going to need to patch the sources a little bit, and I'll show you how later. Uh, first of all, let's start by creating a couple of directories, one for the actual installation, one for the sources. Um, yeah, now let's get the sources with wget. Uh, all right, now that we have the sources with us, uh, we of course unpack them. Great, and move into the uh, created directory. Um, all right, and now we need to patch the um, fast array uh, source and all we need to do is just uh, add a little include in it uh, include of uh, limits.h right here include limits.h um, all right and save it and we are all ready to configure so for the configure, I'm going to using a prefix uh, in order to install it in my home directory and not in the default installation, which requires root privileges. Um, so we're going to install it inside the Miko directory that we created before. And we'll jump a little bit ahead. The configure probably takes like 30 seconds, uh, but we'll jump a little bit ahead uh, and it's done. And now we are already um, okay, let's check that there's no error first. Um, so we get only some kind of a warning, which is good. Um, and then we're going to do a make. I'm using a four core system, so I'm going to try to optimize the make with a minus J of four plus one. Um, and we will jump a little bit ahead after the make is done. Didn't take too long, just a few uh, minutes. And now it's, uh, let's check that there's no error, so we only get warnings, that's great. Um, now it's time for make install. Make install will always end up with some error. Um, if you're not using the uh, root privileges, this is because at the very end of the make install, we're using the LD config. Um, all right, so we'll time it and we'll jump a little bit ahead until uh, when it's when the make install is already done. Let's look at the um, error log and we see that we get indeed an error due to the LD config. Uh, but you can see that everything is installed correctly. Uh, the micro bin and lib directories are installed. Uh, please notice the Miko setup uh, script inside the uh, lib, which you could uh, source inside your bash RC. Um, this is because when you try to run uh, something, you're going to need, of course, to uh, arrange your path. Um, but even if you arrange the path, uh, you still get a little error due to the um, shared library. So you need to let LD know about the, library, the location of the library. And once the LD knows about the location of the shared library, the ideal compiler is going to work just fine, as you can see. Um, if you haven't sourced the Miko setup uh, script, then you probably want to set up a couple of other environment variables. The first variable is the library path. Um, this is needed for the micro LD to know about the location of the library, the micro linker. Uh, this can also be done by supplying a negative capital L uh, switch to the micro LD, but uh, I guess the environment variables is the easiest way uh, to go. And similarly, you're going to need to set up uh, the include path for the micro C++, the micro compiler, um, so it knows about the location of the include path. Again, the easiest way to go is probably to source the micro setup script inside your bash RC. That's pretty much about it. You have Miko installed in your home uh, directory, a private installation. Um, have fun with uh, Koba.